Arsenal boss Mikel Arteta saw his side lose 2,1 to Everton in their Premier League clash on Saturday night. Arsenal are going to back Mikel Arteta and resist calls to sack the Spaniard, it has been claimed. The 38 year old is under pressure following his side's 2,1 defeat to Everton on Saturday, with a Rob holding own goal and Yerry Mina strike giving the Toffees all three points. The Gunners currently sit 15th in the table, just four points above the relegation zone having amassed 14 points from their opening 14 matches. Arsenal went into the match against Everton looking to bounce back after recent Premier League defeats to Wolves, Tottenham, and Burnley. But the Gunners slipped to yet another loss at Goodison Park, seeing pressure mount on Arteta in the process. Many fans were calling for the Arsenal boss to go after the match on Merseyside, despite the 38-year-old only being named as an I. Emery's replacement a year ago. The stats make for grim reading and Teresa sense he may be too inexperienced to turn the situation around, especially now a relegation dogfight could be on the cards. Yet the Athletics' David Ornstein, speaking on Sunday Supplement, has insisted Arsenal are behind Arteta and won't be wielding the axe just yet. I think they are going to stick with Mikel Arteta and give him a lot longer, he said. Now we know in football you believe in someone until you don't. We saw that with an eye Emery because Arsenal were behind him until they sacked him. But I do think that Mikel Arteta is going to get a lot longer than this. I don't think Arsenal want to be chopping and changing managers. There is no guarantee that a new manager will come in and solve this problem. Many of the problems are deeper, they're underlying and they are cultural. To do with the standards and the behavior and things that have set in over years going back to the Arsene Wenger reign, the Anai Emery reign and now the Mikel Arteta reign. We are not excusing Mikel Arteta here but these are deep rooted issues. Arsenal have been linked with Massimiliano Allegri amid their current crisis. The Italian remains available, having left his post as Juventus boss in 2019 following a successful five-year stint in charge of the old lady. And former Arsenal star Alan Smith said before the Everton game that outside forces were pushing him into taking over. As an inexperienced boss finding life difficult just now, the Spaniard will quickly find out if he's got the backing of his players, particularly senior ones more willing to speak out, he said. Because when results go against you, when the going gets tough, footballers start to complain. Nothing new there. That has always happened. But the modern day player holds a lot more sway. They are indeed more powerful as independent entities earning serious money. In addition, it's an open secret among football agents that Max Allegri, the Italian coach who enjoyed great success at Juventus, is being recommended as Arsenal's next manager. Not by the club I should stress, but by outside forces who want to capitalize on a difficult moment for the young manager. They seem to think Allegri would stand more of a chance, what with his years of experience in Serie A. To survive situations like this, Arteta needs unequivocal backing from those above. The management structure, led by chief executive Vinay Venkatchman possibly including Stanley Kroenk's son Josh, must take decisive steps to publicly support their manager to avoid his authority getting undermined. Those recent words of support from Medu, the technical director, are a start but not enough. In tandem, Arteta has got to make clear to the dressing room who's calling the shots, who's actually in charge of this listing ship, because if players sense weakness, attitudes can swiftly change. Respect for the boss starts falling away. That's why Arteta's message must be clear and strong.